Welcome, listeners, to another episode of the show. I am your host with the most, Chris Talks. I hope you're having a wonderful day because I am definitely having a good one. Oh, yeah, I am definitely having a good one. All right, listeners, what's up? I hope y'all having a good one. All my listeners in New York, I know y'all having a good day because it is like it's hot out there. Ain't it? Ain't it hot out there? Ain't it hot? I know you think it's hot. Bruh. I know you think it's hot. I know it's hot out there. It is. It's nice and hot. It's like, uh, what is it like? Uh, it's like 85 or something. I think it's like 85 out there right now. I think it's like 85 out there in New York. Yeah, right here in New York. If you in New York, y'all know what. Y'all know what it is. So it is definitely nice outside. So I hope everybody is definitely having a good day. Especially if you're in New York. Excuse my voice. I don't know what the heck. <sighs> All right. So let's get into what, what what's the top story we have for today on this episode here. Let's pull it up there. Ah, uh, uh, come on. All right. So I'm going to do my job. 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 <laughs> Whew. So, we got more from uh, Diddy Titty, the Diddy Titty scandal. So, uh, let's get into this. What What is this about here? Okay. Universal, Universal Music demands to be dismissed from the lawsuit over alleged 1990 sexual assault. Bruh. It's too late for that, right? Ain't it too late for that? Didn't they pay this girl off? She's still trying to get some money out of them. What's going on around here? What's going on? I don't know what's going on. What's going on? All right, listen. Like I told all my listeners, I hear it uh, just like you hear it. So, uh, let's get into this. It's it. Wait, 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 wait. This is a celebrity news. We have a celebrity news. Okay. Come on. We got to cele- hit the celebrity news button. Let's hit the celebrity news button. Celebrity news for you. Celebrity news. I just added that on there. That sound hot, right? It do sound hot, right? All right. Listen, I'm going to let Sarah my AI report the story and get into it as she always do. All right, let's get right into it. Hit it. Universal Music Group, UMGR, is firing back at the woman who claimed Diddy and singer Aaron Hall sexually assaulted her in the 90s when she was 16 years old. Documents obtained by RadarOnline.com show the music corporation demanded the complaints against UMG and Liza Gardner's bombshell lawsuit be dismissed. Insisting the company did not enable the rapper's alleged misconduct while claiming she presented no evidence connecting the corporation to her accusations of rape. As this outlet reported, Gardner sued Diddy, Hall, UMGR, and more in November, claiming she met them at an event and they started buying her drinks. Gardner said Diddy and Hall invited her back to the latter's apartment where they took turns allegedly raping her after piling her with more alcohol. She also claimed the men allegedly raped her friend. Gardner said days after the alleged assaults, Diddy came looking for her at her home and began, assaulting and choking, her until she passed out. In UMGR's motion to dismiss filed in a New York court on Thursday, the company admitted, the complaint's allegations, if true, are certainly disturbing, but insisted Gardner had no, factual support connecting UMGR to the alleged assaults. The music giant also charged her accusations had, nothing to do with UMGR. UMGR said Gardner's lawsuit should have been filed under the Child Victims Act, CVA, not the Adult Survivors Act, ASA, as she repeatedly admits throughout her complaint that she was only 16 in 1990 when the alleged sexual assaults occurred, thus rendering the ASA inapplicable and all claims time-barred. Although plaintiff could have brought her claims under the related revival statute CPLR 214G, the Child Victims Act, CVA, Plaintiff failed to do so by August 14, 2021 when the CVA's two-year revival window closed. Accordingly, plaintiff cannot rely on either the ASA or CVA to revive her claims, and they remain time-barred. 
The motion read, Second, UMGR charged she fails to allege facts that support any theory of liability by UMGR for assault. Battery, or negligent infliction of emotional distress need. Plaintiff makes no allegation supporting vicarious liability for battery or assault, nor could she. The suit continued, Plaintiff's need claim also fails because she has not alleged any duty owed to her by UMGR. And nowhere in plaintiff's complaint does she allege that UMGR's conduct was extreme and outrageous. As she is required to do as a matter of legal sufficiency. UMGR also claimed Gardner failed to present evidence that the company helped Didier Hall with the alleged crimes. Plaintiff fails to state a claim against UMGR under that statute because the complaint is devoid of any allegations demonstrating that UMGR enabled the misconduct of defendants Combs or Hall. It charged. Finally. UMGR said it never served with the complaint, if the court decides not to dismiss the Music Corporation from Gardner's lawsuit. The company, requests a hearing regarding plaintiff's failure to serve the complaint on UMGR. Diddy has been hit with several lawsuits accusing him of various sex crimes since Cassandra, Cassie, Ventura, S. Bombshell legal action. He has since settled the lawsuit with Cassie. Admitting to no wrongdoing. The music mogul is also at the center of a federal investigation into sex trafficking allegations and two of his homes were raided by Homeland Security agents last month. Diddy has denied the accusations against him. Bowing to clear his name. Enough is enough. For the last couple of weeks. I have sat silently and watched people try to assassinate my character. Destroy my reputation and my legacy. Diddy said. Sickening allegations have been made against me by individuals looking for a quick payday. Let me be absolutely clear, I did not do any of the awful things being alleged. I will fight for my name, my family, and for the truth. All right, uh, grab my bomb so I can get into this one real quick. It is real nice outside. I think you want to go outside after I do this real quick. Grab my bomb real quick so I can get into Diddy Titty. Come on, man. You going to get fired on the first day. It's so hard to find help. <laughs> so hard. So hard. Anyway, all right. So let's just get into this uh this real quick. This uh Diddy Titty scandal. So um I think I think uh I, I don't I, I'm not pretty uh I'm not really up on the universal music foundation to them or whatever but uh do i think they should be sued uh no no i don't think they should be sued so um no i don't i don't really think that they should be sued um because if you're gonna sue them to me if you're gonna sue them you should be suing a lot of a lot of people you should be suing a lot of different companies. i mean universal um the studios, right? Yeah, okay, so Universal Studios. Why do they say use it? Univer oh, because it's on the Universal. Oh, okay, so, but it's Universal. Like, they have, you got Universal. I didn't even know they had Universal Music, but Universal Music, Universal Movies, you know, you got you got all this stuff, you know? And um, what we're pulling up is uh, Universal has, I did not know this. They have a lot of different... Um, corporations under them emi and the scope is under them wow so that means def jam is under them that's a lot of different brands def jam records is under them uh capital records is under them um i said emi island record republic records is under them they have a lot of different uh a version music group i did not know that Wow. They have a lot of cash money is under them. Wow. They should, if they're going to sue them, <laughs> they, there's a lot of different, a lot of different. Wow. Republic, uh, Republic records. Oh, wow. There's a lot of, wow. But do I think the music group, uh, do I think this company should uh, be sued? Not really. Not really, it, but but then again, like I said, I, I'm a two-headed coin. All right, people, I am a 
two headed coin. Bruh. I'm just saying. If I I think they might have a lawsuit, but whoever's filing a lawsuit, if it probably happened on the premises that Universal owns. If not, I don't really see uh, a case if these allegations, as they've been calling them, actually happen in uh, where they say they happen. Then no, no, these the, this this uh, production company, our music group, should not be sued. In my opinion, they should not be sued because they cannot control what they employees do. You know what I'm saying? It's no different than, uh, to me, than some, than somebody own the business at McDonald's, you know, or, or something like that. You can't in- control um, the customers no more than the employees. You can't control their actions, what they do when they get off work. And a lot of these uh, actions, according to the reports, some of them, not all of them, but some of them, took place at uh, these residences, but not on the premises, not on their premises, I would say. But if any of them, allegedly, if any of them, allegedly, you know what I mean? Allegedly happen at any time on these, on their premises, and they didn't report it, or if they knew that things these type of things was happening on their premises and they didn't they report it, then maybe you have something there. I don't know. what My listeners, what do y'all think? Do you think you would probably have something there if they were happening, uh, if these uh, sexual acts were being committed on the premises? Bruh. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. What? I mean, what do y'all think? I, I, it, that's that's my thought about it. That's my thought about it. But, I mean, with the rage and all these different things like that, whatever law that um, they have there, that Cassidy was supposed to file these things under, apparently she didn't. She waited too long because, uh, and can we pull that up? So Cassie was around, yeah, she was the age that she claimed that these things did happen. So she was a teenager. So yeah, she. So what does that mean? I, I that that that's my question. What does that mean? What does that mean? What does it, what does it really mean? Does it? What grounds does it hold? This is what I'm asking my listeners. What grounds do you think that it 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 holds? Because he still got away with it. In a way, he still got away with it. And I'm just being honest. Bruh. No, I'm just saying. In a way, he still got away with it. Bruh. Allegedly. Bruh. Allegedly. So we'll give him his chance in court when he, uh, I guess when he goes. If he ever, <laughs> if he ever sees a, uh, a courtroom. Bruh. I'm just saying. All right, let's let's read off uh at least one of these. Let's read off one of these comments. Uh one of these comments says, Well, well, that's how that's how they do it. You know this is a girl because you could see how long the L's are. You you know it's a girl. Bruh. Or, or you know, it's a girl type. Bruh. Y'all know what I mean? That wrote this comment. Because it says, well... Well, they just all started a big old long list. Uh, He messed with... He messed with boys. (laughs) He messed with... Whew! Said he messed with boys and s***. Yeah, apparently. Apparently... They were boys, Usher, Justin Bieber, and God knows who else we don't even know about. That's that's just evil. Bruh. It is evil. 
I mean, if, the, if these allegations are true that he was messing with these little boys, were messing with these these artists when they were children, then yeah, then yeah, I I I think yeah, yeah, he he definitely gonna go to jail and sit in there for a very long time, and probably a lot of things is gonna happen to him because, like I said before, with that raid, I think there was something behind that. Okay, I I said it before. Bruh. I think it was something behind that. And I think, in my opinion, this is what I think. Okay, listen, this is what I think. I think they went in there looking for that. Okay, I don't think they did not go in there looking for that. But I think because of the way that the people talked, um, I think, uh, and I, I'm going to just point this out, because of the fact that they say that he recorded everything whether it be video or audio i think there's some people in very very high places all right bruh that wanted that stuff out of his house bruh that's just that's my thought that's my theory that's just my theory i don't i i don't know because when i think of it right when i actually sat down and think of it i had read something where it said uh uh p teddy P. Titty Diddy is like the melanin Epstein. You know? Bruh. Yeah, and that just got me thinking. That just got me thinking. Because if Epstein got a list, I mean... Bruh. What did he got? Bruh. Hmm? What did he got? I don't know. I'm just throwing that out there. All right, listen, folks. Um, That's my view, and that's my opinion on this particular uh topic <clears throat> i am coming down with a cold or something i don't know i you coming down with a cold so well the new york weather has been messed up the weather across the country has been messed up so you know i need some tea or something maybe that'll clear my clear my throat out bruh no homo bruh but Y'all know what it is. All right, listen to all my listeners. If you like this content and want to hear more of it, y'all know what to do. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button. Also, feel free to uh, leave a comment and definitely share this. You know what I'm saying? So, um, all the links and everything are right there on your screen. So, y'all already know what to do. Um, yeah, we just about done here, right? Uh, I don't know why you did that. Uh, also, Stay blessed and not stress. Okay? <laughs> Stay blessed and not stress. I want to thank all my listeners for tuning in. You could be anywhere else in the world, but you are here with me, and I so, so appreciate that. Until the next episode, everybody, I'll see y'all later. Peace out.